Uh, can't believe I haven't done one of these in a while. Hey everyone, this is Flick Can Gamer. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these reviews. Well, anyway, without any delay, let's let's get started on Family Appreciation Day. So this episode begins at night time at Sweet Apple Lakers, both town apparently, and the Apple family hears some banging in the middle of the night. Or most of them. That pose and the what now? Well, so that was a really short or introduction to the episode. Uh so I guess I managed to do some catching up with you. Uh well, I'm almost done with the school year. I've yeah, I'm really falling behind in terms of these episodes because last year I got up to like I finished six of season one's episode by the end of the school year. No, wait, actually it was 19, and I've only gotten through 12. Uh, anyway, back to the episode. So as Green Smith stays behind, we see Apple Jack and Big Macintosh setting up barrels while Apple Boom is inside with Granny Smith. Ready for what? We're making that maple jam! Turn shooting! It's time for some good old-fashioned Zap Apple jamming! Yes, ma'am. I can't wait, ma'am. Wait for what? To make Zap Apple Jane with you. Well, I, well, then again, in Apple Bloom, I wouldn't be surprised if Granny Smith is... I'm not saying that she's old, and I'm not going to say that, but I guess maybe she also suffers from short-term memory loss. Of course. Now I've been doing this ever since... So Granny Smith explains to Apple Bloom that she's been doing this when she was young, and tries to tell her to get all the precise steps right. Does it look like a secret ingredient? That there's a room. Now get sweeping, this please. Now while you sweep, I'll get to it. Oh, post feathers. But I'd forget my mane if it wasn't attached to my head. What's that even mean? So then while Apple and Jack and Big Mac are setting up the barrels, we get an unnatural weather pattern. And apparently there are trees that can zap out electricity. There's the zap apple leaf. Right on schedule. Well, well at least I know where the, where the zap comes from in the apples. Oh, goody. So is Apple Jack... No, that. Apple Blue and Gray Smith wear funny suits. Oh, hey! It's the Mega Bitch! Well, how did you do there, Filthy Rich? Hello, Mrs. Smith. Did I hear right that there's a Zap Apple Harvest Cup? So, this is basically Filthy Rich, Diamond Tiara's father. And, just as I figured, her Diamond Tiara belongs to the Woolwich which family, which, which, get, which brings up the question that she really is a rich snob. Two days? Four days, to be exact. Excellent news! So well, how filthy Rich does this stuff, Diamond T.R. starts to talk to Apple Bloom and knowing her previous personality and previous episodes she was in, how much you want to bet this is going to end up with her looking like a bitch. Oh, you poor, poor thing. How did you make all that sap apple jam with Granny Smith? You know, I'm really surprised that Apple Bloom is in that costume and surprised that, the, well, that she acts like she really is a bunny. That's so weird. I'm not talking about the jam. I'm talking about Granny Smith. She must be so embarrassed. So <laughs> Well, Diamond Tiara, I guess maybe Filthy Rich and, and teach a lesson of respecting your elders. Slap. Uh, what do you mean? You know, with 
all her silly ways, how she forgets things. It's called short-term memory loss. I just said that. Does she wear these ridiculous costumes? Granny said that the water needs big. Goodness, you're here on the farm and not in town where every pony could see you. Don't worry. Your secret is safe as me. Yeah, considering in what you do in a later season and in a later episode, it proves that nobody trusts you and it should be soon enough that Silver Spoon should leave you by next season. I meant the season after the... Oh, forget it. Sailing why? So, after that, Apple Bloom and Gray Smith goes in the, in the market and let's just say that a hijinks ensues for Apple Bloom. Uh, I would say less silly, Apple I would probably say less fucking insane and less painful. I mean, seriously. Does Granny Smith feel any pain at all? Mm. I mean, I'm terrified of the bees, and... Yeah, if I had a mountain of bees covered in my face and if they start staring at me, I'd probably... Oh. And no, I'm not going to do the meme. So she hides from the two bitches, Granny Smith ruins everything, and then she becomes embarrassed beyond belief. I guess this episode just answered my own question in my call of the cutie review and wondering why I know the Apple family talked with App Apple Bloom and their bully issues. I guess because Granny Smith thinks they're nice, they don't even and bother asking what's wrong with their problems. I guess that explains everything. Alright. Purchasing in bulk. So, let's cut to the school where we get I family appreciation day. The wholesale market, purchasing in bulk and slashing our prices way undermine every other gift market in town. And that's how Rich's barnyard bargains became the cornerstone of retail in Ponyville. And it also begs the question why no kid would want to sit through an hour of class time learning about the stock market. It Especially how two days ago it sparked, I actually had to sit through a 30 minute speech about stocks and house and job interviews. Oh god, I'm getting old. So it surely sets up a new. So it surely asks basically for one more point. Family Appreciation Day. Pay for Family Appreciation Day and take a guess of who it's gonna be. For next Monday's Family Appreciation Day. Oh, Apple Bloom. And, but I just don't know what else to do. 
So I gotta start kicking in the high gear. Uh, well, I'm at the fourth quarter of the school year right now, and... Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, crap. Uh, what else? Um... Yeah, so I pretty much got schoolwork up my ass right now. I mean, actually I was able to die down a little. And I was able to get through a couple of things. Um, I guess maybe now that I'm done with my Let's Play of Lego Star Wars 2, I can focus on these MLP reviews. But I'm just hoping I can finish the second season by the time I'm the school year ends and before I start junior year. Which is, in, which is on September 2nd. So I have another four months, but that doesn't mean I have a lot of free time. So I gotta start taking it into motion. And, yeah, I think that's just pretty much it for the most part. I just got to focus on these reviews a little more. And then hopefully I can I can hopefully get to the last six episodes like last year and then finish off over the summer. All right. So back to the episode, Apple Bloom tries to convince Applejack to go to Family Creation Day, but she says I'm no. I'm sorry, Apple Bloom. I already told you that we just can't take a break from harvest to come to your school. You know what will happen. I know. After the fifth day, the Zap Apples disappear. And you say you always want to do Zap Apple Jam, and yet they never. And somehow you picked this up on the fly. Man, this is really confusing. So then another crazy ass weather pattern shows up, and then crows come in, flying. Uh, okay. And the crows can apparently form a heart, or and apparently E. Granny Smith can run as fast as a freaking in hyena on seltzer water. So then more of the zap apple leaves show up, and and then apple starts to freak out. But C. Lou and Bell try to calm her down. Dictionary? Snap out of it! We're here to help you. After all, we are the cutie mark crusaders. We'll figure out a way to postpone your presentation. So Scootaloo and Tweedbell try to make, make Apple Bloom sick, no, and long story short, it doesn't it go to... Yeah. Perfect as a pick and pair. Now what? Huh, I guess maybe that's... It's already almost done now. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. So Sweet Abel he makes Apple Bloom through the telescope and then the stars fall out. And then apparently the Apple Bloom stars bloom in the apples. And Sweet Abel gets the idea to try to pick them early, but... But apparently the trees are pretty much made out of the same material as an electric fence. Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. And hijinks ensues, and they fly off the tree. Hello? Granny Smith. We're here. So Shirley stopped by the next day to try to... Uh, hi, uh, Granny Smith. Is, uh, everything okay? And let's just say that long story short, things don't bode well for Apple Bloom. Granny Smith gets a telegram and... Never really explains 
why just the little kid just gave her a message. And let's just say the long story short before the commercial break, she stows up the family appreciation date anyway. Fantastic action. Ugh. Okay, so yeah. I'm almost done with the school year. I got reasons and final exams left. And I have like another two months of school and well, and I really hope I can get these reviews out of the way before then. And I really need to get these reviews done. Because, as I said before, I want to at least try to get through to... I want to get to, like, at least episode 20 of this season, like I did last year. There was the season 1 episode, and then I, have to, and I won't have to worry about gear. So then I can focus on other things. And I don't know what my next... E Let's play is going to be because I'm tr because the thing is I'm trying to limit the amount of games I want to do a let's play on like I think I did like one two like I think I did like three two or three let's plays on the GameCube and I'm trying to limit the in the amount of consoles that I have and I want to try to limit hit the games I want to do let's plays on. All right, back to the show. Friendship is magic. Right now on the hub. So Granny Smith shows up for Family Appreciation Day, and Emma Bloom wonders why she didn't show up. <laughs> Can somebody give me the opportunity to smack this bitch upside the head one good time? Long ago, when I was a little pony. Well, we're off to a great start. Things were very different here in Ponyville. Because <gasps> there was no Ponyville. So Gray Smith surprisingly gives us an it interesting backstory about, about the creation of Ponyville and what uh, life was like when she was younger. Me and my family were pilgrim pony folks back when I was a little kid. Oh, we ventured far and wide. Collecting new seeds and selling the old. But my pa was the finest seed collector in all of Westfield. Then one day, the Smith family found themselves in the most brilliant, most grand, most magnificent of all cities. A place called Canterra. Well, I bet your hooks to hunt for it. I have never seen anything like it before in our city. And as if the beauty of that city wasn't enough, suddenly she appeared. Celestia, the most regal of all hosts. Oh. And Celestia isn't in the gigantic troll. She does care about the about the poor and suffering. So that we were this is a really interesting backstory. And being royal princess and all, she knew exactly the place for us to lay down our stakes. My pa gave the princess a mighty thing. Though his wife doesn't approve. We quickly found that land near the Ever Free Forest, and we built our first home. Next, we planted our first orchard. But an orchard don't grow overnight, and we were getting mighty short on food. Now, mind you, we were cautioned about the forest, and we knew that it was not fit to... There you go. I'm Granny Smith heads into the forest and sees these I apples, see these apples, these bath apples, which are basically... Just what we saw earlier are the apples covered in rainbows. And then we find out what the hell timber wolves are. The timber wolves. I did the only thing I could have made of. And apparently the Timberwolves kryptonite is loud noises. So then we also get to see the creation of how zap apples are formed and all the different signs that we get. And they zapped away if you didn't pick them all in one day. And the fruits of our labor were the best fruit we ever tasted. Soon enough I was mixing up batches of zap apple jam. Just like harvesting the zap apples had its special rules, so did making zap apple jam. I learned that you gotta be extra friendly with the bees, otherwise their honey won't taste right and sweet to mix in with the zap apples. Who just thought that glass jars needed talking to? Or that zap apples like pink polka dots? 
So I guess the zap apples are your conscience, I guess. And maybe so. Just funny that way. Then ponies started coming to our farm from far and wide just to get a taste of my zap apple gym. Some even decided to say, like thinking rich. Diamond Tiara's great grandfather. Wow, she really is a fit. Wow, Diamond Tiara really is a family that's filled with rich snobs. Matter of fact, the first thing he ever saw was my zap apple gym. And thankfully, back in the day, there was no copyright strike against him. And the pony knew he made our damn nice little town, busting with all kinds of ponies. And there is how Pony Deer was spending it. Diamond Tiara didn't go too far with the kooky old lady insult. 
So, as a whole, it's, it's by no means a bad episode. I'd say it's pretty good. It should be like a B plus. Again, if it would have been an A, if Diamond TR didn't go with the kooky old lady insult. I'm Flick Gamer, and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.